So, hi everybody. You've seen these in the store. These are Finn mandolins, and this is Finn, okay? Um, Finn makes all these without power tools. I know that's loud, isn't it? Yeah. That's your fault. Hammer, yeah, my fault, totally. Yeah, so where are you Hammer from? Hammer and Chisel, Copenhagen, Denmark, 1972. Copenhagen, Denmark, Born 1972. There. Born there. The Taylor Dance, Heat Perfect. The suit. Okay. No swearing on camera. <laughs> uh, and then um, tell me where you got this. The wood. Across the street, the house, 5347, uh, no, Beard, right across the street. They were tearing the roof apart to put a second floor because the old lady, she was 95, died. It was built in 1943. Built in 43. And they had one by 12s that they, uh, battens that, were used to, that they used to put up on the beams instead of the plywood they use now. They last forever. So this was cooked by the sun for pretty near 100 years. Cool. And it was right in between two of these knots. Just enough room. Cool. That I could make it. And these look like little... Now, oh, quickly tell here. me, like, how, how, how much pressure is on the top of like an instrument like this? Uh, it's just like a fiddle. Except there's no sound post. So there's 200 pounds. On this, there's 220 pounds. That's 220 pounds this way. This, this way, way is only pulling yeah, this way. the long way. That yes. means you'd have to have... I'm 230 pounds. That means I'd have to hang on all four, all eight strings to bring them up to pitch. There's about 50 pounds to down pressure, 60, 50, 60 pounds. What keeps it from exploding is the amount of wood and the base bars that keep it up. What keeps it from sounding good is too much wood that keeps it up. What keeps it from, uh, uh, what makes it sound good is if you, if you get this pressure, 200 uh, some odd pounds, and this pressure equal, so that the top doesn't know it has any weight on it at all. This pressure and this pressure are completely equal, which is crazy to do because you have to tune it, scrape it, play it, tune it, scrape it, play it, and just at the point where it stops getting any better, you stop scraping. Not, not going on anymore. And then after about uh, a week, it kicks in about as much as it's gonna kick in. The old Gibsons from the 20s, they were good, a week after they were made, all they did was get better. And the ones that weren't good aren't going to get better. See? And, and Finn does this. You, you, these are all hand tools. This is like 17th century construction. You're doing yeah, this. Yeah, I have. I can't make dust in the house because my wife uh, has a lung problem. So I use giant chisels. But actually, that's good hard labor. It keeps me... Uh, keeps the blood circulating. <laughs> so it, it only takes about an hour and a half to rough this out with a hammer and a chisel, a big hammer and a big chisel, sharp. Uh, unfortunately, it's pretty easy to go through it, so you don't want to do that. You gotta, just when you get down to the point where it's about two, three millimeters, you got to stop and think, and then do it by hand with little planes. So I got little tiny planes about this big that are wrapped with leather because they get hot when you go really fast. And this is basically built the same way. It's the same thing. Just and this smaller. is a mandocello that we just got. So this I just one. want to introduce you. That's a mandola. You. That's a mandola. Sorry. Yes. That'll be a five-string mandocello, yep. dual course, five-string mandocello. Yeah. Remember the scale length and everything? Uh, 25 and three-quarter, yeah. and that's 16 and a half. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, that's all for now. We just wanted to make a quick introduction here with Finn. And that just, I'm sorry, that probably flooded the mic. Sorry, on your ear.